youtube welcome back to another video that intro was kind of trash let's read youtube welcome back to another video today's video we got a reaction for y'all this video is bloods of oahu i hope i said that right bloods of oahu i'm I just in, it's in hawaii somebody recommended this video for me to watch i guess it's most it says inside the most dangerous hood in hawaii i didn't even know hawaii had hoods um who the fuck are there black people in hawaii like that live there Hold on, let me look let me look it up real quick before i just say some stupid shit there's black people in hawaii but it's a small percentage just so y'all don't think i'm dumb i knew i knew that i just wanted to make sure y'all knew so now y'all know it's black people in hawaii you know i'm trying i'm trying to keep it pg because just no it's not a weed channel anymore but i'm still i'm still gonna try to make it interesting for y'all still try to entertain y'all but i know y'all don't want to hear me talk the whole damn video so we just gonna jump into it right now don't forget to like comment and subscribe on this video even if you don't watch it, just click the like button. Make sure other people get to see this video. So let's hit the screen record. Three, two, one. Starting the video now. Not starting the video now. Hold on. Screen record starting. Three, two, one. Starting the video now. Yeah, fool. Y'all gonna die. Y'all come with disrespect. Y'all gonna die. Just hours after we finished filming, someone was shot right where I had been doing interviews. Honolulu police have opened an attempted murder investigation after a man was shot in Kalihi. When you think of Hawaii, you think of picturesque landscapes, lush rainforests, waterfalls, and beautiful beaches. One of the last things that might come to your mind is <coughs> gang affiliations. But did you know there are numerous- What? Oh my bad, my bad. Blood and Crip territories in Oahu. Gang banging in Hawaii has been around since the 1970s. It all started in Kalihi with the Bloods Braves gang out of Camp 4 Hollywood and the Sons of Samoa Crips out of Kohio Park Terrace. In the late 1970s, the original Bloods felt the state had been neglecting their public housing projects. So to send a message to the local politicians, five residents carjacked the Honolulu City bus and took the police on a seven hour car chase before ultimately crashing it off Interstate H1. This is how the Camp 4 Bloods got the name Home of the Braves, a AKA Braves Gang. In 2023, the two most prominent blood territories are the Mayorite Housing Projects and Kalihi Valley Homes, AKA Camp 4 Hollywood. First of all, first of all, first of all, who would have thought people was like in gangs in Hawaii? Like you think about Hawaii, you think about peace, beaches. You're not thinking people drilling each other, blood, crips, like, while the two most prominent crip housing projects being Kuhio Park Terrace, aka KPT, and the 99th Street Halava Mob Crips. I first heard KPT. about the gangs of Hawaii when I saw music videos by up and coming Cam 4 rapper Juice, aka Junta. His videos are rife with energy, red bandanas, and a side of Hawaii I hadn't even heard of before. Junta grew up in Cam 4 and raised himself since the age of 13, telling me that his home wasn't a stable place and he only had his mud brothers through it all. So for this episode, I venture to the Cam 4 housing projects to meet up with Junta and his friend BG Bucks to find out firsthand what life is like as a blood no in way Hawaii. It's one five four BG blood on gang east side five root blood. So <laughs> One person is dead after an overnight shooting in Kalihi. It happened in the same area of a deadly shooting just last month. Police are still investigating a deadly shooting here at Kalihi Valley Housing. This came in around 4.18 this morning. Do you guys consider this like one of the most dangerous hoods in Oahu? Yeah, I'm not gonna lie, no, 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 not even dangerous hoods in Oahu, but dangerous hoods in Hawaii. Yeah, that's why you guys spun up yesterday, that shit was impressive. Mm. Call him cake face. It's Joe, fuck, 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 time. For some reason, I don't take them serious. 
Like, they might throw up gang signs and do all that, but I don't really think they're putting it down like that. They might be. They might just be, but... I'm not convinced. Anybody Check it out, you guys. Today we're at the Cam 4 housing projects in Oahu. One of the most dangerous hoods in Hawaii. We're going to be doing some interviews, seeing what life is like in the hoods right here of Oahu. Hey, we, we in the uh, Camp 4 Hollywood. Straight home of the Braves, bro. Where to? Who am I here with? You got Bucks. Josh. Call me Joe Tanner. <laughs> What's it like growing up here? Uh, it's pretty difficult, to be honest. People struggling out here, too. You know, this the. <laughs> This the hood, man. Over here is a different story. This is the other side of the island that most people don't see. They don't really hear about our shootings either because they try not to broadcast that much shit because they would fuck up their tourism type shit. It's BG, dog. <laughs> there ain't no BG around the world. West to the east, we all there, bro. That's like that hood down there, that's like Crips. Straight Crips. That's the get the SOS, the Harnox, get all those niggas, and up here is like Eastside Power Rules, Bloods, you know? Yeah. That's why there's Bloods and Crips all the way in the fucking Hawaii, yeah. in the middle of the Pacific Ocean. Yeah. We're from the Braves, bro. Braves gang, this is home of the Braves. If you recognize the project housings, this is one project housing. Going down, down straight down to the next project housing, Ops. Down the street is Den of Thieves type shit. No, no, Kizzy, they, they, Den of Thieves down in, um, Cohio Park Terrace, they KPT. KPT stands for Cohio Park Terrace, a housing project just 1.2 miles down the road from Camp Ford that reps the rival color blue for their loyalty to the Crips. For years, the neighboring projects have beefed back and forth, getting in street fights and posting the videos online to YouTube. Police and public housing officials are struggling with the recent increase in violence in Kalihi, and now some say the internet is helping stoke that rivalry between housing projects. Social workers say that these obviously well-planned fight events are promoting an attitude of violent rivalry and could be creating an atmosphere that'll encourage more people to join gangs. A subtitle on this video describes it as a scrap between CAM4 Housing and KPT, Cujillo Park Terrace. Note the red cloth, I mean, gang they're, they're not really doing nothing bad. I feel like fighting it out is really better than them killing each other. Like, they, okay, they don't have to post it, but I fighting it out, what they doing right here is way better than what people doing what i was gonna say what people do in america then i remember hawaii's in america but it's way better with what they do in like chicago philly florida places like that that just they don't know how to put the guns down but i don't know i just can't imagine people drilling in hawaii on <laughs> one fight. a tradition that is now fading no as way. the new generation resorts to picking up weapons instead of fighting with their hands because Hawaii is known for just running them hands. This is my comeback. Start yours at purdueglobal.edu. Hands, bro. Anybody that want them hands can get the smoke, but shit. Lately, this generation be different because everybody want to use weapons and shit, so everybody had to adjust. Some niggas want to bust the act like they're going to run hands and then... I don't know where they just like pull up their shirt and they bring shit. out a fucking machete. Chop your arm off type shit? It only gets to this deep where the shit start hanging and shit, bro. <laughs> yeah, bro. No, I'm nah. serious. Like, nah, I believe you, no bro. Jokes, bro. Like, if they see that type of shit on the news, what's going on, they're not, they're yeah. not gonna wanna Who come to Hawaii. wanna come you know? over here if they really understood, like, what we but go like, through? I don't know. That makes sense. Yeah. Yeah. Like, what, 2019? In the same year? Got shot in here? Yeah, they got shot at the top. I'm not gonna lie. That has to be one of the worst, if not the worst, haircut I've ever seen in my life. He got a cut, but two braids in the back of your shit. Like, wait till you turn around. With only about 1,500 residents at Kalihi Valley Homes, there. nearly half a dozen people have been killed there in recent years, including Junta's friends, Starsky, Baby, and KFAC. The friend Junta is speaking of is 16-year-old Starsky Willie, who was gunned down inside the Camp 4 housing projects. Later in the video, we visit the site where Starsky tragically took his last breath. What is it like to, to walk outside your front door and know, like, just 100 feet away, one of your friends got shot? That can't be a very safe feeling. Nah, for us, it's like, it's understandable, because, like, niggas die every day. And they, they think that over here be, like, the same thing, like, it's all good, but really, really? We feel that type of traumatic and PTSD type shit. Sometimes it trips you up because 
you know how you feel when you see your brother down. It's trippy how you, you don't cry at his funeral anymore. Like you just, it's you just so used to it. You don't even tear anymore. Shit's like crazy, bro. No, it's that four, dog. Hollywood, nigga. That's that four family. You want to drink with this? I'll drink it with Nigga, take a shot, nigga. Where to? Hey. Shit. Hey, buddy, about to take a shot with us. Hell yeah. I don't. For the streets, right? Yeah, yeah, for the streets. For the break. Yeah. Damn. Off that one, too, bro. You got to do double. The the drink of choice here. Yeah, there's no. Y'all drink hen dog out here? Hell yeah, yeah, you already know. Oh, shit. You drink anything out here, bro. For real. When the island boys came down and they said Waikiki K. Y'all scared up, man. Waikiki K. Waikiki K. <laughs> Just understand that Waikiki. <laughs> Waikiki. Ain't no fucking city or nothing to anybody, bro. That's a tourist spot, bro. Yeah. Is this in the hotels? Yeah, bro. That's, that's <laughs> exactly, bro. I was like, bro, they, this is the hotels, bro. That's crazy, bro. Them island boys. Like, what the fuck, nigga? What, what would happen if the island boys pulled up here? Uh, island boys come through here, bro. I'm not gonna lie, bro. They're gonna run up. They're gonna be running out the back, back gate. Naked as hell, bro. <laughs> Take the drawers. <laughs> like, we got some psychological yeah, warfare. Stripped, yeah, we too, bro. They all got stripped. <laughs> Youngsters would see them like, oh, that's a lick, you know? <laughs> that's money right there. It's they, a free they lick. Know yeah. After a few drinks, I asked Junta what he did for fun growing up, and he took me to the old closed down rec center and basketball courts that he used to play in as a kid. There used to be a, a, a playground or a park yeah, right no, here? It's, it's like a little court. There's a little court down here. Up, up there was like the hall, study hall. We used to come elementary, come up here. Play inside, pool table, all of that, you know? It's like a teen center, like for kids and shit, bro. But it closed down. The state still didn't do shit about this, you know? They'd rather see us at the bottom. That's why, like, the kids, they're so into other shit because they, they don't have stuff, stuff like this to keep them busy and shit. You feel like the kids going up here don't have an outlet to express no, themselves? they don't, you know? They don't. After a little research, I found a news segment from about 10 years ago where they talked about the closing of the rec center and how they had plans to rebuild it. Engineers determined the rusting roof and sagging structure was unsafe, and the gym's been closed for the past two years. But residents also worry about the safety of these kids without a proper place to play. The decrepit gym is just one of many problems at this public housing complex. And if the gym at Kali Valley Homes can be repaired, it will be. If not, a new one will have to be designed and then built next year. With over a decade since this clip aired, nothing has been done to repair or rebuild the closed down rec center. So with few outlets for entertainment, I got to see how the kids of Camp 4 improvise for fun on a Friday night. Are all these kids listening to dr drill music? Yeah, yeah, yeah. You catch Are the they getting sturdy? Yeah. Are they getting sturdy? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, bro, from the east coast to the west. Look at that, look at that. <laughs> Bro, they're emoting on us. <laughs> hey, where you guys from? Yeah, where, where you from? Where you from? from? Where you guys from? Cow, cow, four Hollywood. Best hood. It's the best, best hood. hood. Yeah. 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 making my knees hurt, dog. <laughs> no, yeah, bro. Shit, I can't even do that shit, bro. Got, got the kids over there playing pogs. You got, you heard of pogs and shit, bro? Nah, what's that? What's that? What's that? Oh shit, come, let's go check it out. Pogs. I have no idea what this is, bro. <laughs> it's you like mean? one of the games we, we grew up playing too. Like, hey, hey, hey. I'm so gone. <laughs> I'm watching this and I'm realizing I'm fried right now. Explain them to him. Explain them. Oh, we just hit the pog. Adam. Whoever make them all say, win. All right, let me just watch to see if I can figure it out with context. <laughs> I'm, right now I'm feeling like a moron. The game of Pogs, which actually originated in Hawaii, has been played on the islands ever since its creation, way back in 1927. Various rule sets exist, but the overarching theme consists of throwing a slammer onto Pogs in an attempt to flip or move them and eventually take all the Pogs from your... Tropical is grilling up always fresh, never frozen, marinated churrasco steak. Get it sliced to order with opponent. What, what does the winner? You know what I used to do when I was a kid and we used to play? We used to draw like the um the hopscotch and we used to like hopscotch like back and forth or like jump rope. We used to jump rope all the time. That's what I used to do. Forget. The whole All thing, of these. The whole, the whole, the whole thing. Got pogs, got marbles. Pogs? Pogs, yeah. 
I thought that was a Twitch term. Nah, nah. Pogs in the chat. <laughs> Am I tripping? Or like this is Hawaiian Pogs. Like I'm becoming an educational YouTube channel, bro. <laughs> We're learning something. If you see this little nigga, bro, better watch out because he might smash your windshield. Shout out to whoever smashed my window two times in Providence, Rhode Island. <laughs> I know it wasn't him, but maybe it was someone like him. Look, back at it again. Coming straight from Cat 4 Hollywood. We got the birdie taking a sip. Ah. Hey. You want to see how we do it in Maryland? When we get drunk, we hit the gargle. We got a gargle squad. Oh! Oh, yeah. oh, oh. I ain't gonna uh, go. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Oh, nigga, you might have to Bring the camera right back to you. That's how they hit it in Maryland. I ain't gonna lie, bro. He's welcome to the barbecue. That's kind of fucking. No, what? Gargle squad. He's welcome to the barbecue. Ain't no gargle squad. Cover. Put it in the sack, put it in the water, squeeze that shit out. Ah, cover. Yeah, cover. It matters. Yeah, I ain't supposed to. Bruh, type shit like Growing you know? up? Yeah, I got yeah. a weak stomach, bro. I hear like we got he he got like a pendant of, of the brodies that passed away. Do they got like regular food and stuff in Hawaii? Like McDonald's and stuff like that? I'm not trying to sound slow, I just never been. So I'm thinking like but everybody got McDonald's. But like other things like Popeyes, Burger King, stuff like that. I got, I'm going to do my research after this video. But this video is kind of long. So, I'm going to just react to the other video y'all sent in. Double upload, double reaction dropping Friday. Yeah, it's like 1 a.m. right now. I'm gone. I'm going to react to the other video y'all sent in. Like, comment, and subscribe. Don't forget to do that. Like, comment, and subscribe. This was a W video. Kind of got boring towards the end. But overall, W video. <laughs> oh, my God. I'm going to see you guys in the next video. We out. God took me right up out my sins. I can't go back. No. Holy step and gaining real knowledge. You can soak that. Yep. Thank God he gave me good light and brought hope back. Yes. Big stepping on the devil's head. Got my toe fat. They said I